Hey guys, uh, here we go. This is going to be the video for how to get the patina look on your bonnet with your rat up car. I'll just show you the stuff that you need. And what I've got here, I've got a selection of different coloured paints, mainly the ones that are starting to get empty and use the last drips and drabs of. Uh, I'd say to go for some reds, some greens, uh, I've got some white as well, I've got some black and also got a little mouse sander with plenty of different graded discs so we can get the different effects a hair dryer so we can dry the layers between every time that we spray and the most important thing got a dust mask just so we don't breathe in any of that harmful paint we don't want that on the inside of our lungs so we'll get started on the prep Right, what we're going to start doing, I'm going to start using the sander. I've got a 240 grit sanding disc on there and we're going to start keying the surface up just so we can get the paint to stick on there and I'm going to take it back to some of the bare metal as well. Also use your dust mask, you don't want any of that on the inside of your lungs, it's not going to taste good. <laughs> Hey, Martin's arrived. Hello. Say hello to all the wonderful people on YouTube, Martin. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Now you can see why this man's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been doing here, I've used the sander, I've gone heavier in places. Warming the car, sort of thing, And you can see where I've taken it back to the bare metal. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start layering some paint over the top of this. I think I'm going to start with some red. So, Martin is here. He has been watching <laughs> <laughs> doing fuck all <laughs> what I've basically done from the picture you saw before where it's sanded, I've just layered different colours I've gone heavy with the green in the corners I put a scatter of red and I've gone with a scatter of black and this is basically all you need to do because you can attack it with a sander and create the patterns that you want afterwards but always ensure make sure your paint is dry Oh, in what looks like right. attack formation. <laughs> attack formation. <laughs> right, what I've decided, because this bonnet was originally white, I'm going to go with a top coat of white so it looks like everything is underneath the original colour, and then we'll go from there. I wouldn't worry about it coming out perfect either, so don't worry about any dirt or anything falling in it. Once you've applied your top coat, dry it with your hair dryer for at least the first couple of seconds just so it gets an eating then and you can leave it to cure properly before you attack it with the sander. If you can't think of anything better to do while you're waiting for the paint to dry, you can always make sure that you have one of your best friends here and you can play rock, no. paper, scissors. 
paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. Ah. Uh, no, you beat me. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> as you say, I've started sanding back and you go heavier in places and all of these different colours come through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on over the rest of the bonnet and you'll see how it comes out and it'll be on this side of the bonnet and then I'll leave it to the general public to see what we do on the other side. So then guys, what I've been doing, I've been working my way back wherever I feel ne necessary. I personally think that you should go with your gut instinct, you should do whatever you want to do, where you want the metal exposed, where you want more red or the green, whatever colour you put on there. But what I've done, I've worked my way up to finer sandpapers on the little sanding mouse and we should have a nice patina effect. If you used to do this all over a car, I think it'd look pretty cool. So, I'm only going to do this segment of the bonnet. And I can leave space to either do rust, graffiti, or sticker bomb. We'll let you decide. So, I'll see you later. Hope this has been some help for you. And also, we should say bye to Martin. See you later.